Hello, y'all. This is part of the Warband Lore and History series covering the Kingdoms of Coradia. The subject of this video is the Serenid Sultanate. A little disclaimer, I do not have Banner Lord at this time, and so this video solely relies on information taken from Warband. The Serenid Sultanate is located in the edge of the desert of Coradia, bordering the Rodox and Kirkits. Their most noble areas is their capital, Shariz, which is held by the Sultan, and the cities of Tukurpa, Amarad, and Barai. Their lands are plagued with bandits, the local variety of which is the mounted Desert Bandit and the intimidating, infamous female bandit leader, Zyra. Serenid armies are ones of versatility. Their soldiers are armed with anything ranging from war axes to swords and large two-handed maces. All of their ranged units rely upon javelins and bows. The cream of the crop is the heavily armored Mamluks, who some say rival the feared Swadian knights. Their lords are referred to as emirs and lead their forces in the battle. Of all of Karadia's nations, they are the jack of all trades when it comes to warfare, and this shows in their military. The Sultanate, location-wise, is the first nation of the desert that happens to touch the greener lands going into the rest of Karadia, with any others in the sandy lands unknown with the exception of distant tribes. Their exact arrival is unknown, but the House of Saren is referenced as a group alongside their neighbors who received payment from the Karadic Emperor to stop other tribes from attacking the Empire. The Serenids are ruled by a Sultan, many of which were born of slaves. Their current ruler is the Sultan Hakim, nephew of the deceased Emir Babek, a previous co-ruler alongside the claimant Arwa the Pearled One. The past of Arwa is an interesting one, having become a slave as a young girl before joining the Sultan's court. She gained influence with the Sultan Izar prior to his death up to the point of managing affairs in the realm. With his death to prevent a civil war, it was decided she would become co-ruler with Emir Baybek, who became commander of the armies while she became mother of the realm. Both would later become married to one another, and tragedy would strike with Baybek's death in a Kyrgyz skirmish. Hakim would use the opportunity as an attempt to gain power, arriving at the palace with his men and leading Arwa out at sword point. The now Sultanate Hakim on the matter, when questioned on it, says Arwa was nothing but a witch who transformed Izar and Baybek into stammering fools, and as he respected her rule up to the death of her puppet, she should respect his. Arwa has traveled to other kingdoms' courts to find support, but has yet to find any, leaving Sultan Hakim in power. This was the lore of the Serenid Sultanate. Leave a comment on who you think should lead the Sultanate, and make sure to like and subscribe.